back at the flock and we are getting some birds on the roof starting to get them used to the area i've um, got my other birds up flying as well but uh, these guys are been sitting up here for a fair little bit of time this is a little friendly one here there's a couple of quite nice little friendly ones in there but it's good don't worry about them other races they're just going crazy we've got all these guys just relaxing definitely on the grind to figure out our ideal situation for the housing and we're definitely getting there they think they're getting fed now but um that's not what's going to happen you'll notice that some of these birds are starting to appear with little rings on them i'm starting to put the rings on the older adults the ones that we're going to use for breeding um which i think is a good idea instead of trying to ring all the young birds for the time being until we get some decent rings and stuff set up we're just going to put the rings on the ones i want to keep the ones i want to breed from and just see how we go from there because we've got um a couple see there's a nice little hen here she's got a ring on there we've got a few of the young birds up on the roof which are mostly um mr kabuta's babies i've just got to find the hen that he's paired with it's another cock bird here we might have to try and get a ring on him as well I'm pretty sure he's one of the original cockbirds. Just got a ring on him. There's a bit of a commotion on the roof. I probably need to bring those birds in. I don't see any falcon. What are they getting carried on about? Oh, what's going on here? I'll bring you guys down. How's that? I'll bring us down, all right? All right, these ones, most of these are across the Mr. Kabuta. Mr. Kabuta's in there, but he's got a lot of his little babies in there as well. I'm just going to get this little tag off here, undo this little knot that I've got on here, and then we can get them out, get them fed, because I've got um, a tr number two trial of feeders, because those ones yesterday are a little bit big. So, come on, out just come. Come on. One at a time. Come on. Mr. Kabuta, he's a wild one. Look at him. He's, he's real wild. He's always been wild, but um, yeah, that's him. He's just a character. They're all come back in here in the crowing. So there must be a few cockbirds in here. You can see them. They're all going to shy now. There's definitely a couple of cockbirds of Mr. Kabuta's babies, I think. Bit of commotion, but that's good. A few hens here with the little pink markers on them, especially that these nice darker ones here that I do really like. So that's going to be pretty good. So we've got our original feeder, which we've previously used, but then I'm going to poach this one from my other birds. So that gives us much longer and it's a lot thinner as well, look, not as deep. So I'm hoping that um, this will be a lot better for them because. Um, yeah, they like some people said that is a little bit deep, and I do agree with that. Let's try this. Come on. Come yeah, on. Come on. Still plenty of room up here. Come on, pigeons. Come on. I think we might be able to do with one more of those feeders, I think. I think you can buy these in even really long versions. So maybe i get some long versions of these ones. I think they're on eBay pretty cheap. So what I might do is jump on the computer tonight and maybe order a couple and just see. I feel like that's the go. I don't want too many small ones, but a couple of bigger ones would be really good. I think it'll be work pretty well in here.
Yes, we just need a little bit more space, so I think that's the go, but these are the right height, you can see. They're not really having too much trouble getting into it. Just keep a bit of an eye on them and see how they go with it. That sort of knocked that around a bit. But I think they're doing pretty well. Apart from being probably a little bit scared on this front because I'm here, but definitely try to work on it. The little baby's getting excited. If you haven't already, make sure you head down in the description, check out the links from other channels, um, Instagram and things like that. Any updates and certain bits and pieces, I will put the link down in that description so that um, it's you know easy enough for everyone to click on and have a look. These guys are going pretty well, definitely getting exciting with these guys. I want to fly them, but I'm going to do it properly this time and we need to trap train them some more. Hopefully tomorrow the weather's a bit better and I might try and trap train the whole lot of these birds. Might put them into a couple of little different... Um, groups and we might try and get them all coming in through here we might not get them coming through on command yet but if i let them out and they do sort of don't come in when i want them to they can come in over the, the you know before nightfall they can just pop in we'll just leave this little trap off so i feel like um yeah we're on the right track we're definitely going to get them up and flying so i can't wait it's going to be fun hey thermal Anyway, I'm going to catch you all in the next video. Stay tuned. I hope you're enjoying the videos. Um, if you want to see more, just drop some comments down below. If you want to see certain things, drop them in the comments below. I'm going to be pretty busy at work this week, so I'm going to try and get back as many comments as I can, but I'm going to try and make sure there's definitely videos for you guys to watch. So see you all later.